So there's a couple different strategies that we've been working on as a class for adding two digit numbers together. Um, the first strategy that I'm going to show you, um, sometimes we call it decomposing. And when we're talking about two digit numbers, usually we're decomposing into tens and ones. So I'm going to give two examples, one where we normally wouldn't carry and one where we would carry. And again, this is an alternative to carrying so that kids can really understand the conceptual knowledge behind adding two-digit numbers. So I'm going to take two numbers like this, 23 and 24. And what we can do is we can decompose them into tens and ones. So this would be 20 and 3 and 20 and 4. And then we can take the two tens and add them together to get 40. And take the two threes, or the two ones, and add them together, 3 plus 4. And we would get 7. Okay? And then we would add that together and get 47. Now, sometimes breaking it up into tens and ones is a little difficult for kids. So they might need to break it up even further. They might need to decompose these numbers even further instead of into groups of tens, into single tens. So they might need to do something like this. 23 is 10, 10, and 3. 24 is 10. 10, and 4. So then they can add their t tens together. They could even count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, and then they can add their ones. And 3 and 4 is 7, so 40 plus 7. It's important to note that in second grade, we almost always want to write our problems horizontally and not vertically. The next example is two numbers that we would normally have carried in the past. Um, so instead of adding 23 plus 24, let's try adding 23 plus 29. And again, we can decompose this number into tens and ones. So this would be 20 and 3 again. And this would be 20 and 9. And it, just like our other other numbers where we added 23 plus 24, we can add the tens together again and get 40. And then we can add the ones together and we get 12. And then we could say that this was 52. Um, again, this might be a little bit difficult for kids who are struggling with um, adding bigger numbers. So you might need to break this up even further. You might need to say that this is 10 and 10, and then 3 and 9 is really 10 and 2. And then this is 10 and 10. So then we have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 2. So to break it up into tens might be easier for some kids. And this is the strategy again we call decomposing. Or sometimes we might call it breaking it up into tens and ones. 